for me, love. You know your son's got the feeling I found. What are you doing that will get you into a positive state of mind and body? What I do, tip for today, is I put on music that is positive. No sad songs, no angry songs, just music that would uplift me and get me started. I'm actually getting ready because I've got a luncheon with Miss Kate Cawthorn. So I'm off to the city now. See you guys later. I'm just going to show you video number two of day two. So there's a review and there's some filming in the background of me getting back on the platform. So here you go. And I apologise, it is blurry. I'm still learning how to use the camera. <laughs> I promise to endeavour not, not just becoming a good speaker, but a good <laughs> film director and editor at the same time. Here you go, guys. Today is actually understanding more on fixing or progressing and developing my presence on stage and capturing and connecting with my audience a lot more and being a lot more authentic and being real and saying it's okay to be real as well as to be me. And um, a story, so. Here is a picture of a little girl, which reminds me of my little girl actually, who is six years old. Her name is Chanel, and we actually do a lot of things together in terms of creativity. So we run around, so we play bad cop, good cop, um, wonder girl, super girl, and when, so this is prior to buying a costume for her for a birthday party. We, I would be running around, or she would be running around with a towel wrapped around her neck, and I'd wear a beanie to pretend I'm the bad cop and she'll be the superhero. So we run around, and that's our moment of laughter, fun, and enjoyment together. So that's just a glimpse of what we actually do. And um, something memorable from yesterday was the cards um, that we were all given to each of us, and when I had read it out, I it was actually great because the word out really um, hit rock bottom, like hit right here and it felt, um, and it was a good reminder of why I do what I do. Thank you. Great. So day two, I'm actually going to do a review about the gold nuggets, the values that I've actually taken away from, from that day. So influence and persuasion, that is what I was learning. And Catherine Molloy actually facilitated the event. By the way, Catherine Molloy, you're so warming and confident and you made it a engaging day for us to be, to be helping us to get on stage 
and allowing us to perform and be us and be authentic. So I learned about lots of things. So first one is about don't self-sabotage yourself. Catherine Molloy said, your thoughts are your words, your words become your actions, along those lines. And I thought, that's right. It is about the way you're thinking. So if in your head you're saying, oh, I'm not good enough, or I look really bad in front of the camera, or I'm not a good writer. Now, you're saying that, and then what's going to happen is when you, when you start doing things, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to turn out to be. So I have to be super careful about how I think about things and before I used to self-sabotage myself all the time I used to always say I'm not good at this I'm not good at that and when I started to change the way I talk so in my upcoming videos you're going to hear me talk about I've built more confidence or I've I've achieved this or I'm only saying it because one is positive talking positive thinking I'm changing the way I see and view life and through the past year and a half my mindset had exponentially grown and that's because I am thinking differently and positively so uh, don't self-sabotage yourself it's a big no-no uh, the other thing that I've learned about is now your first impression when you meet somebody new out on the street, in a networking environment, in any situation, seven seconds is so important because people judge you already, whether they like, they like you or whether they're going to judge you for this or, you know, they'll look at things. And that's human behavior. That's the human mind. But if you continue to be authentic, but give out a warm and more of a positive outlook to yourself, People start to engage, people might want to start to connect and people will walk away because those seven seconds are really important and people judge very quickly. It's just human, human mind, the brain, that's how the brain works. <laughs> uh, the biggest takeaway is also about when you're talking about, when we're pitching today actually on stage, there is what is called a toggle method. Now I'm not going to go into detail about that because... Um, it's a method that the team actually goes through with you but basically it's talking about your why and about your audience how to connect with your audience and there's actually a method there's actually a methodology um, in that so we've learnt how to do it um, put it together and we had to actually get up on stage and go through and, and share our message in that formula I <laughs> hello. Say hello. Hello. Day two down. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys had a day filled with laughter, fun, excitement, everything. And today I've had a wonderful day. Even though it's day two. I'm still celebrating my birthday and as you saw I was on my way to see Kate Cawthorn. I had lunch with her and it's always been a pleasure to be around with Kate. Now I normally do my grateful post this afternoon so this is what I'm actually doing right now is actually thanking um, people and moments in my life. I do it every day to myself, I say it out loud and I write it in my journal but I might as well film it. So if I name you, don't be, don't be like all embarrassed because um, you're worth speaking about. So Kate Cawthon, thank you so much for the opportunity. I could not resist and I could not say no. To the team at Speakers Institute, Sam, thank you so much for your support. Kate delivered the message and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I can't tell you guys what it is, but you guys have to wait in... In my videos, I don't know when I'm going to tell you guys, but I'm waiting for Speakers Institute to actually announce it um, first, and then I'll announce it. Oh, whatever. I'm yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Someone's going to announce it, but um, I'm super excited because in the coming days there's going to be changes. There's going to be um, opportunity that's coming, and you're going to see me a lot more at Speakers Institute with the team at Speakers Institute. Thank you so much to Ethan. Thank you so much to John. Thank you so much to Jody because you guys from day one have made it everything for me and has helped me settle 
and for you to share your experiences and just to hear me out and to listen I'm very grateful for for everything that you guys do and Ethan thanks for pushing me <laughs> to do to do this <laughs> crossing me over the line also again Thank you so much for this gift. I was gonna, I did another video and I thought I better just do it here best for this moment because I had helped out at DSA um, conference maybe over a month ago now. But they, I just helped out. It was just for me to get myself out there, see what they do, and I just like helping. It's just out of my generosity, and they've actually sent me a little card in here from the team um, thanking me t for helping out, but also um, movie tickets, gold class. I can't wait. <laughs> I need somebody to take me. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you guys didn't have to do this. I want to thank you for that, and, and it's always my pleasure to help out. Uh, I also want to send out my love to... The outsourcing angels team I saw an email and I saw I've seen the messages and the videos wishing me a happy birthday I just want to say thank you guys it's um, really heartfelt and really warming that you guys have done that out of your time filming yourself and sending them to me and putting it all together so it, it's it's really really nice to all the messages wishing me a happy birthday still I, I am absolutely grateful. I haven't gone through all the messages, but I'm responding to you guys um, and trying to put thought. And I, I know that I'm always on the go and busy, but I always make time. I always make time to respond to messages. So anyway, I'm going to always post a photo or a picture of my daughter's painting so that you guys can actually see what she does because I'm all about creativity. I'm all about pushing and allowing my daughter to imagine, to be herself, to be expressive and I just want to share that moment with you because she does one every day for me and she comes home from school, she goes, here you go mommy and I'm just seeing how she becomes herself and, and, and for her to share her actual um, creative art with me, that's because I've always grown up in the arts field. I always want her to continue to share and express coloring paint whatever it is that she wants to do because that's her that's her sharing her creativity and I want to share it with you guys and I, was, and I will post her paintings her artwork at the end of the video anyway guys day two down I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>